Hey cat lovers and welcome back to another video. While some people prefer cats over dogs and vice versa, this isn't the case for everyone. The truth is that many people love both cats and dogs. If you're one of them, why not have the best of both worlds? Contrary to popular belief, cats and dogs can be the best of friends, so it's totally possible to own both. With that said, we thought it would be helpful to share the top 10 dog breeds that get along with cats. Just to be clear, at the end of the day, every dog is different. There is no guarantee that a specific breed will get along with cats, so we can only speak in generalities. That's why you should always talk to animal professionals before making any adoption decisions. By the way, if you enjoy this kind of content, consider subscribing to the channel for more cat videos. If I sound congested, I have a bit of a cold, but the show must go on. So now on to the list, in no particular order. Number 1. Beagle the Beagle is a medium-sized hound dog with floppy ears, short hair, and a strong jaw. Most Beagles have tricolor coats with white, black, and brown patches. This breed is often described as gentle and good-tempered, making them great family dogs. Although Beagles are hunting dogs, they are usually friendly with other animals. This means that a Beagle might see a cat as another member of the pack. Don't be surprised if they eventually become cuddle buddies with your feline friend. Beagles tend to be vocal. This can be a pro or a con, depending on whether or not you want a watchdog. Beagles are also active, with most needing about an hour of exercise per day. So ideally, you should be an active person if you want a beagle. This breed also has a reputation of having a strong scent known as the beagle smell. Although people tend to get used to it, this is also something to keep in mind. Number 2. Golden Retriever the medium to large size of a Golden Retriever may worry some cat owners, but rest assured the Golden Retriever is often a gentle teddy bear. Like the name sounds, this breed has a flowing golden coat with shades ranging from light to dark gold. Golden Retrievers are excellent family dogs, and their adaptability means they can potentially do well with cats. Not only are they gentle, but they are also playful and intelligent. As a result, they are famously easy to train. This is another breed that needs a lot of exercise, so the ideal owner should be an active person. Golden Retrievers also need regular brushing, especially during shedding seasons. Finally, like any breed, they are prone to certain diseases such as joint and heart problems. So, like with any dog, regular checkups are very important. Number 3. Labrador Retriever The Labrador has a short to medium coat and comes in several different colors such as yellow, black, and chocolate. This is yet another breed known for being friendly, gentle, and intelligent. Like their retriever cousins, labs are also excellent family dogs with the level of adaptability that makes them potential candidates for cat homes. Also like their cousins, Labradors are high energy dogs which means they need a lot of exercise. Grooming maintenance for this breed is relatively easy, and they also tend to have few health problems. When considering all of these wonderful traits, it's no wonder the lab is one of the most popular breeds around the world. In 2021, the Labrador Retriever ranked number 2 on America's Most Popular Dog Breeds list on Rover.com, right behind Mixed Breed, which was number 1. Number 4. Pug With a wrinkly face, curled tail, and stocky body, the pug looks like a lot of love squished into one little dog. This breed has a black or tan coat, floppy ears, and a flat muzzle. Pugs are known for being the class clowns of the dog world, so prepare to smile and laugh at their silliness. They also are described as cuddly, so they might just be the perfect couch companion for your resident feline. Compared to other breeds, pugs don't need a lot of exercise, which is good news for people with laid-back lifestyles. Due to their short muzzle, pugs can suffer from allergies and breathing problems such as wheezing and snoring. Pugs are also sensitive to heat and cold, so it's important to make sure your home is a comfortable temperature. Pug owners also have to monitor portion control because this breed is known to overeat if you let them. Number 5. Cavalier King Charles Spaniel Often called the royalty of the dog world, the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is gorgeous all around. This breed has a silky medium coat with elegant color patterns. Cavaliers have a friendly nature that makes them huge people lovers, so it should come as no surprise that their friendliness can extend to felines too. Cavaliers are also known to make great therapy dogs and are very athletic too. Since this breed has such a love of people, they do best in homes where they wouldn't be left alone for long. So if your idea of a fun Friday night is cozying on the couch for a movie, a cavalier will love your company just as much as your cat. If you're interested in this breed, you'll also have to commit to brushing them a few times a week in order to keep their fur tangle-free. Number 6. 
Basset Hound. The Basset Hound has a bulky build with long hanging ears and short legs. As for coat coloring, Basset Hounds are commonly red and white or tricolor. However, any hound color is recognized. This breed is described as friendly and easygoing, making them great with other pets, including cats. Since they developed as pack animals, Basset Hounds love having their families around. Compared to other breeds, their exercise needs are not as demanding, but they do need at least one long walk a day. This breed is also said to be somewhat stubborn, meaning they are not the easiest to train. This is not to say they can't be trained, just that they might need more time and patience. Another thing to keep in mind is that Basset Hounds are prone to obesity, so owners need to be extra mindful of their diet. With how low to the ground this breed is, extra weight would be especially problematic. Number 7. Collie The Collie is a large dog that is one of the most recognizable breeds thanks to the 1950s TV series Lassie. Collies can be short-haired, known as a smooth collie, or long-haired, known as a rough collie. This breed is described as sensitive, intelligent, and very affectionate. They always desire companionship, making them wonderful family dogs. Collies are also famously known for loving children. For some collies, that love may extend to cats. As you may have guessed by now, long-haired collies require frequent brushing in order to keep their fur free of knots. If you want a dog with easier grooming needs, a short-haired collie might be the better option. Since collies are sensitive dogs, they are also known to be barkers. They are especially prone to barking if they get bored or feel lonely. Number 8. Bulldog The Bulldog, also known as the English Bulldog, is a medium-sized dog with a wide and muscular body. Some of their iconic traits are a large head, small ears, pushed-in nose, and wrinkly forehead. They also have droopy upper lips and an undershot jaw, which means their lower teeth stick out farther than their upper teeth. Since Bulldogs are calm, friendly, and kind of lazy, they are known to get along with other pets and children. Don't be surprised if your Bulldog snoozes away with your cat until it's time for dinner. Due to this breed's short nose and pinched nostrils, they are prone to respiratory problems. Bulldogs can't tolerate heat and humidity and are also sensitive to the cold. Bulldogs are also known to overeat, making them another breed that needs their diet closely monitored. Number 9. Papillon Papillons are elegant, dainty, and beautiful. The Pap is classified as a toy dog and has a long, silky coat that can be several different color combinations, with a white base. If you look at their large, upright, fringed, and wing-shaped ears, you'll see they resemble a butterfly. In fact, the Papillon got its name from the French word Papillon, which means, you guessed it, butterfly. Paps are often described as happy, friendly, alert, and curious. Their curiosity might even make them befriend the family cat. If you want a couch potato for a dog, the Papillon may not be the best choice because they are always looking for something to do. With how outgoing and energetic this breed is, they thrive with lots of activity and don't do well with being left alone for long. Although Papillons are generally healthy, keep in mind that small dogs in general are at a higher risk of certain health conditions. Number 10. Poodle Poodles are seen as the aristocrats of the dog world. Between their sleek bodies, long legs, and curly coats, the Poodle is an all-around elegant breed. They come in a variety of colors, most often solid. Poodles also come in three sizes, miniature, toy, or standard, and all three get along with cats. Poodles are known to be one of the most intelligent dog breeds, making them highly trainable. They are often described as good-natured, loving, and loyal. Interestingly, Poodles are one of the few breeds that have hair instead of fur. Yes, there is a difference. Fur only grows to a certain point, then sheds. On the other hand, hair just keeps growing, like it does for us humans. The perk to this is that poodles shed very little. The downside is that they require high maintenance grooming, including near daily brushing and regular hair trimmings. If you plan to adopt a dog, we highly encourage you to do so from an animal shelter. Some shelters have waiting lists for specific breeds, and there's nothing stopping you from getting on multiple waiting lists. We also encourage you to consider mixed breeds first. Regardless of breed, shelter employees know each adoptee's personality and behavior, including if they get along with other pets. This means they can help you find the perfect match for you and your cat. So, do you have both cats and dogs? If not, do you want both? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next Catter Day for another video.